Yeah. Anyway, this is kind of interesting because uh, these are silver dollar hairs. So the measure, I just, this is the CD case, uh, which I collect samples. I have zillions of, of them of the rain. So we'll look, look at this, this a little more closely. So we look from this angle, and uh, you can see the aggregate of material. <laughs> it's just filthy. It's like drizzle and, and uh, you know, basically. And uh, again, that's not dust. As soon as I take the sample, I close it. There's a couple of hairs that's uh, on the outs on the other side. See, it's not there. It's not, that's not, those are on the outside. So, uh, you know, I have some cats, so it might have a, a tiny hair or two on the outside, but it's the inside that counts. As soon as the sample's taken, it's closed. A little closer, you can see, you know, we're droplet aggregates. It dries circularly, then this stuff, you know, accretes. Uh, mainly in the center. And of course that white ring shows we're going to look at shellac real close in a sec. Alright, that's the composition of the of a aggregate. You see we back off a little bit and uh, you can see the white ring. Well it's full of powder but uh, you know most of it is where the white ring is which is submicroscopic as well as much of it throughout. The coarser granulation is more visible. You know, this shows it pretty well. So the white ring, and then uh, the super fine material throughout, and the denser material at the center. Yeah, that's an excellent example of the shellac effect. This stuff is all the way through from edge, ring to ring, and uh, some of it's so fine you, know, you would need a microscope. There's no way we can see it. It's clearly there and then slightly coarse material causing a shellac-like effect. You know, the, the edges are, are raised slightly as if it were shellac. Another shot from another part of the plate. Isn't that great? Maybe we should pick another one. I've got a billion of them, man. This is just the past couple months. Filthy! That's what we're looking for, filthy. Let's just pick that one. Ugh. That's filthy even by my standards. Hmm, smaller droplets, just as filthy. Perfect shellac. <laughs> Isn't that something? Yeah, it's all over the damn plate, man. That's what all the micro droplets dry to. That. Shellac. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm afraid to, uh, that's just, it also has tiny microfibers, which I'm not sure if we're getting them. I think there might be one right in the center. They're nanofibers, they're not natural. What do I do after I handle those plates? <laughs> you know it. Yeah, I'm going to do a more full study for sure. Let's check that one out, because it's from Mega Slime. Underbelly. <coughs> Yeesh. You know that ain't right. Yeah, it's brutally filthy. Microfibers. Naturally. Hmm, see? Some of the weirder stuff. Interesting. Yeah, definitely. Nanotube like like thingies. But why don't you love our nanotubes? We make nanotubes to help society. Yeah, I can see that just by looking. <laughs>